Tonight, we're talking with law enforcement about road rage cases across our state as the new left lane law aims to cut down on those incidents. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark tells us how some of these frightening encounters began and how the victims escaped. Oftentimes, road rage cases can start after a driver does something that agitates another or when a motorist isn't obeying lane laws. But in far too many incidents, the anger leads to aggressive driving, violence, or even death. Along a central Alabama interstate this past summer, a young mother's life cut short after an apparent case of road rage in Tuscaloosa County. My sister, she was like very outspoken. You know, she was just a wonderful, not only was she a sister, she was like also our, you know, mom because she helped my dad raise us at very young age. And you know, she was my best friend. The family of Zakia Bibbs is still waiting to learn who pulled the trigger on Interstate 5920 in July one of several cases around the Birmingham area in recent years. I was going up the ramp and I heard a pop. I heard a second pop and the window shattered. And by then I knew I was getting shot at. We introduced you to this victim in 2018. Concealing his identity for safety, his family was shot at in Irondale along Interstate 20. Two little girls almost died. Uh, we had five bullets passed by three different people, and none of them hit us. But that is just insane. 40 traffic loaded. Troopers say you never know what's going through the head of another driver. But following lane laws and common courtesy, lessen the risk of an altercation. Stay out of that left lane and don't tailgate the vehicle in front of you, and you'll probably eliminate 90 some odd percent of all these road rage type behaviors. Officers hope the new left lane law will ease tempers. They're urging slower drivers to let them do the speed enforcement. We've always had, you know, laws such as impeding the flow of traffic. Doesn't matter if you're going 70 miles per hour. If you got vehicles stacked up behind you because they can't pass you, you're impeding the flow of traffic and it's improper lane use. Some drivers may already be on a short fuse behind the wheel, and officers say gestures, honking horns, and tailgating can fan the flames of a short-tempered motorist, something this victim learned last year. I'm probably not going to get involved in any of, uh, any of the traffic nonsense, you know, just mind my own business. Most importantly, troopers are reminding drivers to leave early, be patient, and remember the other innocent lives around you on the road. If somebody wants to get mad at you, doesn't mean you got to react in the same way. Now, the new left lane law is now being enforced across the state following a grace period that has ended. We have much more information about the new law online at CBS42.com. In the studio tonight, Michael Clark, CBS42 News, local coverage you can count on.